the way things smell now to me because I can smell roses. I can smell roses even though the seeds just got planted yesterday. But then you decide to keep up with it because it feels so good. Okay, y'all. I'm going to just tell the truth. I got my coffee right here. I'm going to take a quick sip real quick. Y'all see the sun though? Can we can we take a second? And everybody, can, can we add some applause right here for the sun? Because the S-U-N is coming in, but the S-O-N. You guys, it's, it's literally like... You you and you get to the point where you enjoy this peace that you have. You guys, I enjoy this peace that I have. It's like I don't have to, I don't gotta feel like I gotta like, you know, do certain things or or uh try to make up for I guess like say for instance like having social media. I don't have it anymore, so I don't feel like I gotta make up. Well, let me find something else to get addicted to, or let me find something else to do to make up that time. That time is being spent with my family here in my household, or that time is being spent on me concentrating on my mental health, me concentrating on feeding my spirit, okay? So, now listen, the funny thing is, is when I first came across to talk about this particular subject, and I told you guys some time ago that I was gonna talk about the subject um, of isolation, um, but I also wanna talk about um, being hidden and I also want to talk about being um, uh, off the grid okay so off the grid being hidden and isolation okay so but before I get to that part I want to talk to you guys about what Google see this is why this is one of the reasons why you got to be careful sometimes like when we are so when we when we have a dream about something or we see something and then we're so quick to google it sometimes you got to be careful with google because i'm telling you google will make you think all types of things okay so when i google isolation i just wanted to know the definition of it i didn't want to know anything else that was connected to it because i already knew in my heart that god was going to give me exactly what to say but then this came up and I said, oh, I'm going, okay, God, I heard you. So when you Google isolation, the first thing that comes up is related health conditions, okay? Related health conditions is a few of them. I think it's three. I think it's three. Um, the first one is clinical depression. The second one is seasonal affective disorder. And then you have post-traumatic stress disorder and then you have um pro postpartum disorder and then you have borderline personality disorder okay let me just just break these down really quick um so i'm not i'm not even going to go through all of them because i don't want I, the point of this video is to separate the negative connotation, okay? So this is the negative connotation. So clinical depression, it says social isolation, rest, restlessness, it says for seasonal, it says social isolation, sleep deprivation, fragile, um, postpartum, it says intensive thoughts, lack of pleasure. Um, for postpartum depression, it says um fragile for borderline personality it says social social isolation disorder of self-image and reckless behavior let me tell you when i first seen that i was like first of all that's the the problem sometimes with google is it will have you questioning everything about a decision or everything that god gives the 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 understanding to if that makes sense so when i first when i first decided to go into isolation for myself you guys it was a part of me that was like mm, is this really what i want to do is it is it bad is it good and then i just allow god to minister to me and tell me like you know think about think about how you're feeling overall my feeling overall you guys i feel better than i've ever felt before I, when I say better than I've ever felt before, I mean better than I ever felt. When I read 
said this and I said, so they're saying I feel good, but Google is telling me that I'm clinically depressed. It's telling me that I have a social affective disorder. It's telling me that I have, or that I'm dealing with postpartum traumatic disorder. It's telling me that I'm dealing with postpartum depression. And I also might be borderline personality disorder, but I feel good. So I want to tell you guys, this is the breakdown of why it's very important to not let anybody I'm, when I say anybody, I mean your sister, your mother, your uncle, your aunt, your dad, your best friend, your homegirl, your 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 friends that you connect with, your associates, your um work partners. It does not matter who it is. Don't allow them to tell you that something is wrong with you because you are choosing to separate yourself from people, places. So then, when I also did decided to um, go into my season of isolation, I heard God say, you are in a season of hiding as well. I have hid you. So not only, not only did you choose to go, I allowed you to be covered in this season. So when you go into a season of isolation, you better know that God is covering you. He's covering you from hurt. He's covering you from pain. He's covering you from things that you don't even have to deal with, that you are not going to have to endure. Let me tell you, being a part of connecting with different things and different people, we don't understand that the spiritual world is just is just as great or or better than the natural world so when you connect yourself with people you connect yourself with their spirits as well and when you start dealing with stuff that that just is not you you got to understand it may be because I connected myself with this person or oh yeah last week um Suzanne was saying that she was feeling a little sad and she said she didn't even know why and then now all of a sudden in my season of isolation I'm starting to feel sad but it's because I've cut certain things off. I have allowed certain things to, to dwindle away. I don't have to deal with those things. So I've allowed myself to find a place of peace and God has keep me, kept me hidden. Hidden from things that I just don't have to deal with. But then, in addition to the, the season of isolation, the season of hiding, God also have you in a season of being off the grid. Can I tell you, people are looking for you spiritually in the spirit. What is they up to? What are they doing? I don't know how things are going for them. I wonder what they, I wonder, I wonder, and it, this is what their mindset is. They can no longer locate you in the spirit. They can no longer locate you in the spirit because baby, you are off the grid. You don't get no electric bill anymore. You don't get no uh, water bill anymore. You are off the grid and everything, everything off the grid is, 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 is being provided directly from God himself so I don't get no bills I don't get I don't have to deal with different things of having to worry about this this and this I ain't got to worry about my neighbors because I'm off the grid I ain't got to worry about how I'm going to cover this situation that I got myself into because I'm off the grid I ain't got to worry about do I got to share this with somebody because I'm off the grid can I tell you you are off the grid in this season you are not low Locatable. And it's okay to not be locatable because the thing about not being locatable is you don't never have to find yourself in a position or a place where you are compromising who you are. Can I, can I, can I pause right there and say the season of you compromising who you are to, 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 Okomando Roshaya. Y'all, I feel this very strong. The season of you having to compromise who you are to fit in, compromise who God has called you to be to fit in, compromise who you know you should have been a long time ago to fit in. That season is over. You no longer have to compromise because you are off the grid. So when I decided to talk about isolation I understood that it's going to come with some argument of but you pulled away or 
but you are isolated and what happens with that is it can cause different things to no longer operate the way they used to you guys I've been there with having friendships or having relationships and you have a season of isolation and when you come out the thing that you left there no longer operates in the capacity that it once did can I tell you I would feel bad I would be all broken up I would be all sad but in this season of my life I have to understand that if I'm willing if I'm willing to go in alone I gotta be willing to come out alone and it's okay and I'm not let me let me say I'm not being prideful to say I'm okay being alone because I, I want to have people that I'm connected with I want to have my family to be there I want all of that but I gotta be okay if it's not this is what I'm telling you in this season when you come out of your season of isolation you gotta be okay if it don't turn out the way you thought it was you gotta be okay if they no longer want to be your friend you gotta be okay if they no longer want to date you you gotta be okay if they no longer want to talk to you you gotta be okay with that is it an easy place to be N not necessarily is it a hard place to be not necessarily it's what you make of it if you make of it that this isolation season was for me to become better if this if you make of it this isolation season was for me to understand and better myself as an individual because there are some things that God is doing in everybody's life I believe as a corporate but also as an individual he's also doing things in this season where it's okay to 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 be by yourself and embrace every single little thing that God is doing in the spirit for you and in the now. Say one last thing. I told I was on the phone the other day and I'm not gonna say any names because I don't I don't know if if it's okay to say our names so I'm not gonna say any names. But I was on the phone with someone the other day and I told them I said you know it's like what I'm going through right now and I and I and I reached out to to I reached out because it was mostly like I wanted to know is this season of isolation a prophetic thing or is it a hmm I think what did I ask I said is this a prophetic thing or is it just me and you guys know I just came out of the is it just me and I did part one and part two and so I wanted to know is it just me that's going through this or is it like is this something like and at first I thought it was with age because I'm getting older and I'm like maybe it's because I'm getting older maybe things in my life is changing I don't know if all women go through this stage or what have you I, I just didn't know and I said well is it is it that or is it a is it a a prophetic thing like something that prophets go through and she said well yeah it is a prophetic thing but it's also something that you're going through for a particular reason now I have begun to express to her the way that I've been feeling lately is kind of weird and when I say this you guys are probably gonna be like lady K really but I'm going to say it anyway because I want to I want to explain this to somebody who may be going through this. It almost is like a a feeling like you're about to die and you are fixing up everything, cleaning up everything, going around making sure everything is okay and you are taking this time out and it's almost like you see things so different. It's like you walk outside and outside is brighter than it's ever been. It's like you cooking and you're and you cooking something that you've cooked before, but it smells more stronger. It's almost like your feeling towards things is like I can feel it stronger than I've ever felt it before. It's almost like it's almost like like you like literally like it feels like you're about to die. Okay, I'm just being honest, and it's and it sounds weird. I know it sounds weird, but I'm ex I'm trying to explain this as best as I can. But it feels almost like you're about to die, 
And you know what she said to me? She said, that's because Roshaya. It's because you are dying to your flesh. You guys, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with losing who Key, Kenosha, Lady K. I'm okay with losing who she once was to embrace who I'm becoming. And, and I love how things look now. I love how things feel now. I love how things smell now. I love how I can hear things differently. I can hear things that I probably never heard before. And it's not, and it's, listen, it's not because somebody's like, well, what are you saying you hearing? I'm like, it's like the birds chirp different. It's like the crookets are making their sounds differently. It's like, even when it comes down to different things that I encounter in the spirit, I look at it so much different than what I looked at it before. So the point of the matter on where I'm getting to is a season of isolation is not always a negative thing. It's connected to so many things that's positive that at the end of that season of isolation, and it might not even be the end of my season of isolation because let me tell you, when I made the last video about um, coming off of social media, I don't think I'm gonna be off of social media forever. But I just don't know when I'm coming back and I don't know when I do come back, I don't know what it's gonna look like. But what I am saying is, I'm letting go of the old and I'm picking up my new. If I gotta throw away all my old clothes, even though I liked everything that I had in my closet, catch me in the spirit when I'm saying, even though I liked everything that I had in my closet, I'm willing to get rid of it. Y'all, my hair was growing so nicely and it was so healthy. But when I got to this, this season of isolation, I cut my hair into this bob that I've never cut it into before. And to be very honest with you guys, this is a cut that I never even thought I could do on my own. But I, I did it and I wasn't sad about cutting my hair. I was so excited and I feel so rejuvenated. I like the way things smell now to me because I can smell roses I can smell roses even though the seeds just got planted yesterday. I can I can feel the transition even when hardship is knocking at the door. Who and what I see today is totally different than how and what I seen yesterday. And I'm, 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 I'm in this season where me and the kids last week, I don't even remember um, what scripture it was that we did last week. And it talked about how we walk in pride, making plans for tomorrow as if tomorrow is promised. When really we should be waking up and we should be saying, Whatever God want to do today is okay with me. That's where I am today in this season of isolation. So I don't know what next week's video is going to be, but I'm excited about whatever God is going to do because I know it's going to be a transition of you guys continuing to see this new me. And if you're staying if you are and this is you, you can comment below and say thank you for finally saying and explaining to me what I'm going through. With that being said, you guys, I'm going to end this video. I love y'all and I'll catch y'all next week. Bye.